Good evening, Zelda Randomizer fans. We are in week one of the 2024 tournament. I'm Kairos, joined by CD and Prob. We have Magic Friends versus TA909. How excited are we? Totally excited. I mean, these are two people who've been in the community for an incredibly long time. Um, TA909 is seriously amazing. Magic Friends is really good as well. So it's like, all right, let's see what the seed throws at him. Uh, and before we get going, we definitely want to make sure we thank Smile Fires for doing our setup up. No point for doing our tracking. And as always, Speed Gaming for giving us a place to pro uh, broadcast the race. Excellent. excellent. So for those of you who have, uh, so we are, we just started week one of Swiss pairings. So we, uh, you know, everybody's fresh into this tournament. Lots of practice with our weeklies. So we're going to start off on our wood sword screen in the graveyard. Hmm. Okay, sure game. I, I mean, I guess this is better than, like, uh, what is it? Second quest? No, first quest five over in that area where you have to screen scroll out if you get stuck by wizard robes and lionels and all that. And level nine right next door. That's our first level found. <laughs> no, I didn't get a chance to see if it looked uh... like first quest, second quest, or shapes, but we'll be back there in, in a while. Uh, we're going to head over and, and try to show this is mean. This six. TA is trying to get a bomb drop. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to head over. We're going to check all the open caves we can. And maybe we'll get lucky and the Armos item will be on this side of the world tonight. All right. And level six. <laughs> well, that, well, I, we could be first quest. It's not second quest because there's not two rooms on the bottom row oh, in second we quest. We have a power bracelet, obviously, if we didn't say that yet. Uh, opened it up and uh, no, uh, no, no V button for a recorder. Yeah, that, that was very coincidental. We got a bomb drop for Magic Friends as well. But that was kind of funky that we, we have uh, coincidental vanilla where we have six. At, isn't that normally six? And uh, we find our any roads right next door there. Go to Vanilla Start next door. Checking, Magic Friends checking out the that cave. It's a secret, and well, all right, game. Th those two are a little too close together, but I guess the Death Mountain access isn't horrible, except for we start in the grave. So really, if you could have put us in the northeast corner, that would have been better. This is, uh, yeah, these are, these are somewhat subpar, and you'll notice that all of our, uh, all of our NPCs are saying they like turtles. I mean, who doesn't like turtles? They're cute and adorable, and they have a hard shell, but, uh, and they can be of the Teenage Mutant Ninja variety, but the reason they're doing that is because the flag that is, that is turned on today is gonna be, uh, book to understand old men, which means that until we get the book, those old men, they're all gonna be talking about turtles. Mm-hmm. There's a candle for 49 and bait for 41 could come into play. That's There's a, a good store. And look at that 145 secret, which kind of makes up for the uh, miserable small and medium secrets I think we've gotten so far. I mean, this is pretty good. I, I would have to say it would be nice if Magic Friends could get a save in here somewhere before the game tries to steal all of his money, especially since I don't think he went far enough to see that candle shop. We're going to find level four on TA's side. But yeah, the the, the 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 if they don't find any more big secrets soon, uh, it's it's pretty poor seed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Stop stealing our money. There is. Wow. That's such a nice thing to see. All right. Ta is gonna go ahead. Go back into level four. I think he pirouetted that door while he was at it. Um. We know that six could still be vanilla first quest. I'm not 100% sure if this is also first quest. I'm going to have to pull up a map. We saw some bubbles. There were regular ones, which not doesn't exclude second quest in the mix. But, uh, yeah, we're still looking. Well, yeah, because if this is first quest dungeons, you won't end up with, uh, or shapes, you won't end up with the bubbles in there. Oh, the, I think I think the bubbles can... Uh, can go throughout all the dungeons as long as second quest. And if you have second quest monsters, by having second quest dungeons, mm, quite just like the Alphas, because the Alphas and ropes are always that type. So unfortunately for Magic Friends, I think he stumbled upon the second large secret. Oh, apparently he got all three large secrets. Ta just got Woo! the second one as well. Guys, stop picking up money now, okay? 
I mean, at the very... Okay, so on the plus side, we haven't found a whole heck of a lot. So if you're worried about money, right now, they could up a retry. And their only thing they would end up losing is bomb packs. Because the money will all go back into the cave. So if you're tracking the seed and you're kind of concerned about that, then just kind of, you know, stow it away for later. And up no point, thankfully, has checked the map for us and is saying that he believes it is shapes for uh, quest one, for dungeons 1 through 6. Because, yeah, I pulled up my map on the side, but by the time I got the map up, TA was already at a 4. Also, uh, not everybody shares your affinity for second quest 4. Magic Friends is about to stumble into the candle and bait shop. All right, yep, yep. you buy the candle. You might even buy the bait. Oh, no, all right, we're going to leave it behind. He's going to just be like... More money. Be money, money everywhere, but sadly, it's not even good money. Have we uh, seen a door repair yet? I We may have seen one before they actually had money. Yeah, TA leaving behind the letter doesn't really surprise me. TA's gonna go back to the candle shop. He now has his ability to burn down the forest so he can check under some of these burn bushes. Uh, oh, oh magic time. friends! Magic friends, no! Don't pick up the money! Don't do it! Cheap bombs for two Ooh, rupees. That's nice. I mean, they're in Death Mountain, but I mean, we do kind of spawn up there. I like the early key person purchase. Um, TA has already gotten all of his money. Oh, Magic Friends, no. Um, now, well, now Magic Friends has gotten all of his real money anyway. So Magic least, Friends is going to At least he got the bike. At least he got to buy a candle first. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Uh... I mean, we got the candle. We've got a decent amount of money. TA bought a key, which is a really heads up play. He bought a bunch of bombs. He's in Death Mountains. So that's going to be really useful. And with the power bracelet, they're not going to have to come back to check Bogey Zero, which tonight has nothing. Ooh. Oh, At least oh, the bomb exploded oh. there. Those but, are whiz uh... robes in a shapes for yuck. All right, well, we're not going to hang out in four for very long, if you're magic friends. We have a wood sword, three hearts, and, um, you know, it's full of blue as robes, so we'll come back later, maybe? We don't have time for that. <laughs> no, no, we just we want to walk away from that as fast as we can. Well, there's our door repair, which, oddly enough, was not, not, not as bad as it could be. They're all... About the same, though. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all somebody stealing my money, which makes me a little bit feisty, but still. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Arrows! Oh, TA, go buy the arrows. TA, go buy the Oh, we found some secrets, and they're cheap, thankfully. Yeah, I saw so, a race I uh, commented on the other day was, uh, I mean, one of the shops was like 140 to 150 total cost, one shop. Oh, wow. That's, it was, it, that's it a was, lot. It was a lot. All right, so the arrow shop, was that the uh, two single block burn bush over here in the forest? Uh, I think so. I kind of like to track such things for the eventual, you know, hey, we need arrows to get our silvers or we need arrows to get something else. I did see the 236 blue ring. Now, Magic Friends has that much money, but I'm fairly certain there's a couple of door repairs between him and there, unless he gets really, really lucky. TA's gonna find level 7 on the coast. I don't like this entrance to level 7 very much. And Dark Nuts. If I... Well, second quest! Yeah, second it is. Quest. It is second quest 7. Yay! It's Cinnamon Rolls of Doom! It's because it's got the spiral, and we had the super ropes. Yay! Super ropes and bubbles, and and I'm so glad I'm not the one playing the seed. Sorry, guys. Now, Magic Friends is going to find the really cheap bombs. Thankfully, there's a shop that they are not the rare shop. He's also going to buy a key. I wholeheartedly support this. You've already found all three of your large secrets. You definitely want to go ahead and spend as much of that money on wise purchases as you can before. <gasps> Hello. Yes. 
before the door repair people steal it. Alright, give me hearts game. Oh, I was about man, to say, you know, a ring would be great, and then they walk through it, and it's like, oh, I think, I think that was that was a raft on the coast. All right, we got a raft on the coast. We're good. I mean, I already saw my favorite item. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, Vtorp. I would go back knowing that there is a free-ish red ring in a cave. We don't care about this blue ring anymore, maybe by bait, but I would most definitely spend that money on a second key. Or arrows. So we, so we do find Magical Sword at 1Q8. See if uh, we ever get some heart containers. Because it's kind of do that for the, even the red ring. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it's a lot easier to find six heart containers than it is to find and... 14. Is this our armor? Where, where is our... Which one do we have? We still um, got Lost Hills? Lost Hills, I believe. Yep. Hey, there's one heart for Magic Friends. Hooray. To answer a question in chat, yeah, the red ring is actually switched places with the vanilla white sword. And in the randomizer, we it, it varies how much you actually need in hearts to pick it up between four and six. So if Magic Friends is still really close to there, we might see him go back and try with four, but odds are we won't see him go back until he at least has five, because you stand a much better chance of getting it then. The so TA found level one at the North Forest Armos, and is checking out this bomb spot, and probably go check actually the Armos item in the Lost Hills right now. Oh, Plot Spider, you're missing out. That's one of my favorite of all time white, uh, white sword items. Because you know where it is. It's not buried in nine, it's not stuck on a floor underneath like 12 blue dark nuts, it's Hopefully, something that you can actually get before the game gets too far in. Yeah, building up the rupee count again. And what is our armor's item? It is a heart. I mean, well, Magic well, Friends knows where the red ring is. Yep. Both runners getting that roughly at the same time as they're on the same screen. I know, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a, a high five, and then, you know, we're going to tangent off in different directions again. And TA yeah, going back into level one here. I mean, this is a good plan. We're pretty sure that this is shapes, even though that's kind of an interesting spot to start. Um, it's got three items in here, two on the floor, one in a staircase, because we know this isn't second quest. Ooh, there's some bombs inside of that Gibdo, which means that this, in fact, is a remove most open staircases room, being silly. Because there shouldn't be bombs inside of that guy. <laughs> Or a floor drop in this room, normally. Alright, TA is going to do a great job taking him down. Let's see if it's a transport staircase. No, it's not. We got another heart! Alright, so red ring. It's going to be available, hopefully, pretty soon for our runners. We're going to see level 8 is very pink up in a tree. Yep, up at Casino Corner. Alright. Uh, so remove most open stair. Oh, yep. We gotta go, Magic Friends. Go get your ring, buddy. Um, remove most open staircases is a flag that takes the diamond staircase, the right side staircase, and the spiral staircase, and replaces them with uh, push block staircase staircases where you actually have to clear the room. It was kind of made to boost the difficulty in the game, but the randomizer when it puts these into dungeons, it will replace those rooms, but it still tries to put the item in the exact same place as the staircase room that it would have been if removed most staircases was off. So if you walk into a room that normally wouldn't have a floor drop, and there's a floor drop in a really weird spot, then you're gonna know that that is some form of a staircase. So you should most definitely clear that room if you can, and then check whatever is in there. It could be transport, it could be item. All right, Sweet. Magic Friends is going to find... Oh, there we go. We're taking any roads back to get that red ring. Uh, TA sees the Magical Boomerang on the floor in level one. Says, uh, no, thank you. I mean, it's a B button item that he doesn't want. That clock is really, oh. really helpful, especially in a red and orange bubble room. Ugh. Oh, oh and, the, <laughs> and, 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 and both boomerangs here. Excellent. Uh, by the way, do note that we have... Uh, yeah, this is not the second... 
quest oh, portion yeah. I of saw, I, I, yeah. yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw. My brain is just, it's been a long day. So, red ring yeah. for magic friends. Woohoo! Yep. Six hearts guaranteed to get it. Boom. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't really want to go back to both meringues. I like that, Truant. You don't and... really want to go back and check until you're really, really sure you're going to be able to pick it up. I mean, we haven't even hit any difficult combat yet, but now magic friends has just quadrupled his heart, uh, his heart limit. So, TA, uh, Ran into some nasty combat rooms, but has cleared all the items out of level one. So come back for the, uh, we'll come back for the Triforce piece later. Yeah, see, this makes sense. You already know that the items in there aren't going to do you any good. Now let's see what he does with uh, second quest eight. Blah. I mean, at the very oh, well, That's a lot of right, we're not we're not going. That way. <laughs> I mean, I know Magic Friends poked his nose in here, and then he just kind of like went, "No, this is second quest eight. I'm leaving." Oh, hello, Red Bubble Room. Oh, oh my. Run, TA! <laughs> yeah. He's, now, this. Oh, good. So, Tracy had mentioned in chat earlier apparently, Magic Friends saw the potions letter, but didn't end up picking it up. This is, in this flag set, one of the reasons that you most definitely want to pick up the. Uh, you really want to pick up that potions letter, because if you hit an orange bubble, there are only a couple of ways to get your sword back inside the dungeon one of them is to pick up the triforce one of them is to hug a blue bubble and the other is to use a potion and restore your health to full so if you don't have the ability to buy potions you have to kind of you know hope that there's a blue bubble somewhere in there that you can actually get to or that you can pick the triforce up otherwise you don't have a weapon yeah, because if there's red bubbles, there will be a, at least one, but could only be one blue bubble in the entire dungeon. And and in Spirally 7 and 8, that's a long way to go with no blue bubble. Yeah, if you got a wand, you can uh, make up for a lot of it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is true. So Magic Friends is in 7 right now. It doesn't look like it's... I don't think the Wizard Robes and the Dark Nuts are in the same set. We got a heart on the floor. But I mean, you never know. Like, what if you're in eight and it turns into be a Wizrobe dungeon and you have no sword left and you're gonna run out of bombs? All right, right. TA is a little bit sick of eight. We're gonna go get a heart or a potion. Probably a heart. Gonna get the yeah. six at least. No, no matter, uh, you know, it's like you don't know where, the, where you're red ring is but you need six to get whatever the white sword item is to, I, to I, don't, I i don't know that ta909 has ever been in a situation where he must have the red ring to finish a game <laughs> i i know i have been like many 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 times i can't really do ganon on green tunic but yeah this is this is gonna be a thing i mean some rooms i mean you're gonna get hit. <laughs> yeah, some rooms there's nothing you can do about it. Like, that's why watching Oko is painful and fun all at the same time, as long as you're not the one running it. Hey, oh, look at that. oh look, this is good. Huh, look at those prizes. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, sometimes you get where they're like, one's double, the, the red's double the blue, and then some that you have it where they're pretty much the same price. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's like uh, Coke's trying to outdo Pepsi. We're going to find some form of staircase here in, in 7. There are going to be a bunch of them, including, I think, there's one one-way staircase in 7. That meager 5 secret. <laughs> uh, I mean, again, once TA gets back down to Burning Candle Row, he's going to find a free red ring. He's going to, wow, take a heart here. Okay, I like this. He already bought a potion, which is why he's taking the heart. But normally, if a runner like TA, if he's on his last take any, he's probably picking up a potion. Yeah, I think that was our third uh, take any cave. Good use of bombs from Magic Friends to weed out some of these dark nets. Level three, top of the waterfall. Still got a couple of levels outstanding to find. Um, I think two and five? That is correct. Yeah, I got the tracker running on the side, but some of them, like, if I'm playing or watching the seed and the, the level is too evil, I just want to forget it's there. We got a recorder for TA out of level three. 
and opens up a number of locations on the overworld as well as getting us past those pesky dig doggers. I mean, every so often, Spikey might take a vacation and he's not even in the seat. That could be cool. For sure. I mean, it doesn't happen all that often. Maybe he'll be blocking Zelda and, and then we'll be really sad. As your friend's doing the, the uh, perpendicular stab on these dark nuts to avoid getting murdered by them. Yeah, and he's actually using the blocks in this room to his advantage because he's kind of getting the darkness to herd themselves in between the two blocks, which limits their ability to do those, like, 0.5 second 90 degree turns, which end up sending you back to start. Hello. Hey, one-way staircase. <laughs> Into the vertical chute. Mugger wants a heart or 58 rupees. Magic Prince decides to pay off. I, I can agree with him there. Um, I would probably keep the hearts. There is a very small chance we'll be able to get mags at some point in this seed. We might not be able to get white sword, but some form of damage upgrade would be great. And you've got the money and not much else to spend it on. White sword likes to, to hide itself in nine. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. look at this. We got a shape. All right. For... What do you think this is? Huh. Hmm. I'm going to say it looks like uh, if you've ever worked in a restaurant, there are these really big pumpy thingies that hook on to the 10-pound can of uh, tomato ketchup. I think that's what it is. All right, TA picks up the Triforce out of here, and with the map to find some of these odd, oddly placed rooms, going to look for that floor item. I can't say they blame him. He's done most of this three already. He now has the map, which is going to keep him, you know, going in the right direction. He's going to get a nice bomb drop off of the Zoles. Now, Magic Friends found the compass deep in seven. He's still looking for That's a bow. Say, the staircase. Oh, hello, Bo. That was Bo in the corner. Hard to see, but it is like, <laughs> pick up and I'm out of here. Magic French just found the second mugger in level 7, and he's now like, all right, peace, I'm out of here, I'm going to go kill these dark nuts and get my Triforce. And I like this play for Magic Friends. You've already gotten one of the two items in here. If you find a recorder, you can always come back. I, I wouldn't spend more time digging this than you have to. Looks like uh, if TA heads up to burn Candle Row, oh no, he's going to whistle, but this could lead him into the Candle Row checks and then he'll be getting his red ring here in, in minutes. We see the whirlwind, nothing there. No, oh, we're going the other way. All right, this is good. We're going to do the recorder checks. I love these screen scrolls. They're so good. Okay, this is good routing. Your key's gonna route. Oh, there's his last take, and he is gonna take a heart because again, he bought a potion already. Oh, Magic Friends is gonna be. Oh, good job, Magic Friends. Gets the last two dark nuts on the same stab. Picks up his Triforce out of seven, and I think we see him leave. That potion price is just too good. Yeah, don't be so. afraid to use your potions, people. Yeah, exactly. Especially <laughs> since they're that cheap today. Come on, this is fantastic. Now, Magic Friends, I don't think he's seen the coast item yet, but he's about to find the really expensive bait shop. He's going to continue over. He's about to find Mags at uh, Vanilla First Quest 8. Get a few more hearts to try that out. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if it could roll, like, hey, arrow purchase from TA. I I think this is a very good plan. You don't know where your silvers are, plus you just picked up the bow. And there are orange bubbles. Now, we saw two muggers in seven um, on Magic Friend's side, it kind of makes me wonder if the bait block is going to be in 7 or 8. Well, if it's, uh, it should, the bait block would be in 8. And, uh, okay, that's quest. good, because that would be a really, really terrible, um, thing to have both muggers and a bait block 
in that same level. That would just be terrible. Red ring for TA. There we go. Magic Friends is about to find level one. Now, with the red ring, wood sword, he's he's got a blue candle and some bombs. Not many bombs, but bombs. We should see him complete this, you know, in pretty short order. That red ring is going to let him hang in there in some of these rooms that you really wouldn't want to clear any earlier. Yeah, not sure if TA saw the compass in here for... Because, I mean, there there is a Goma in here, plus, uh, plus some uh, other nasty combat rooms. Yeah, and that red ring's going to help out. The the bow would be really good for the um the bow would be really good for the goma, but magic friends won't have that until he finds 3 over at the waterfall above the waterfall. But again, you see that bomb inside of the gibdo? That should not in fact be there, which is kind of a dead giveaway that this is going to be a staircase room. We already know that it's the heart And will Magic Friends pick up either boomerang? Mm, no. I don't think he's going to pick up a B button item at this point. Unless it's like a wand or uh, the bow, of course. A, a lot of runners, they don't like to clutter up their B button. And I can completely understand that. Because it's, little, it's more things that you have to shuffle through when you're trying to get to like the wand or the bow or switch to the bombs. So it makes sense, especially 26 minutes into the game. And we have keys, but not a lot of keys, considering both runners yeah. have purchased. Oh, that is a room in one that can have a floor drop after you clear it. Well, this one's pretty easy to avoid. He is gonna... Okay, <laughs> I like it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, fine. Good utility. Good job, Magic Friends. Yeah. I mean, there's certain enemies that it just works wonders on. Not that guy, though. But we do, thankfully, have a red ring in a left-side landmo room. Yeah, if you get the, uh, if you can get the lem lemos to uh, roll down in HP, and they oh. can actually get hit by boomerang. It's yeah, the that, Triforce room. That was TA. one of the rooms. Yeah. That was TA the room that TA there. left. Yeah, he, well, he saw that room and left, because it's left molas. Could you blame him, though? It's left molas, and he only had a wood sword, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Magic fans had, had, uh, had the, uh, has the red ring. Makes it so much easier. It really does. TA, meanwhile, is up in Death Mountain going to do some digging. So, uh, the, uh, the boomerang is in the, uh, blank room. Okay. So we'll see if he doesn't, hopefully he doesn't, like, not see it because he's, like, lands on it when it spawns. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, hopefully. Uh, but you'll hear the sound, and at some point you're going to be like, all right, I have to leave because there's no more of this one that I can dig. And yeah, Mr. Angry, P <laughs> Mr. Angry Pants in chat, we're not, we're not saying anything bad about TA leaving that room. Most of us, on one heart, wood sword, and no advanced weaponry or defense, we're not clearing a left side landmo room because yeah. we're just going to end up dying. There's a reason why left molas is a term in Oh, yeah. In the community. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, game, stop being a jerk. Magic Friends did a really good job here of taking advantage of the blue whiz robe, getting stuck in the weird up and down pattern. Oh, okay. Another use for the boomerang. I like it. Uh, but yeah, he did a really good job of clearing this room. Catching the blue whiz robe, they like to kind of go in a pattern in some of these rooms with the water because they don't know what to do about it. So he was just kind of like hanging out. All right, Magic Friends takes the key door. There's the compass. We already got the Triforce. Yeah, I I think, yeah, I like this idea, Magic Friends. It's time to leave. You've already used one key in there that is, that's more than enough. You got the Triforce. You saw two of the items. You don't know it, but the third is junk. We're going to find some more cheat secrets. So here's here's a here's a question. If we go into, he's headed in the direction of eight, but I don't know. Uh, I know Magic Friends saw that this was eight. But you find a book. How how after you going to be? If say you find it at like forty minutes in, are you gonna go check those secrets? Uh, I don't have a bow. I don't have silvers. I don't have a. A ladder or a recorder? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay. he has very little of the 
potentially required items. So if you I, can get I, a book. Speaking, maybe... speaking of love required items, TA just found level two. It is the whistle spot in the desert. So when Magic Friends eventually gets around to level three, which his progression in the sea, his progression on the overworld is going to lead him there shortly. Um, that recorder is going to be very necessary. Yeah, it's south of the grave, but it's the desert spot. It's, it's the one that's actually like covered in desert instead of uh, gravestones. The, the world wraps great. Yeah, it, it doesn't really <laughs> make sense that it's called the grave, but it's part of the grave. Yeah, because it's got the coloration a little bit of the... Uh, of, uh, it's got the coloration uh, of the desert, but it's like, yeah, right, yeah. you know, yeah. why Why is this Well, you come the off the grave? dead woods on one section, so it's like, yeah. I think, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the one that everybody kind of forgets about until you go, oh, yeah, that's over there. We should go check it. It's not very far away from the uh, 2Q6. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately for Magic Friends, he is probably going to have to up an A here. Oh no, Bombwell, this is good. Uh, level 2 looks like a cat laying on top of the door. Oh no, I like that Kirby fan. Kirby fan says he guesses the Detroit Lions are playing C1R instead of going to the Super Bowl. And TA picked up a wand in level 2. This is really good for TA. This is an offensive upgrade. Now, TA, uh, in, in that position, I'd probably still pick up a book, but it's, it's. I mean, I can understand not picking up the book in his I, position. Uh, he's got a red ring, though. I mean, uh, Magic Friends is going to get clop, uh, clipped by a bubble. I was trying to say clipped by a bubble, and I tried to make up a word. We're doing good. But he said not roll up, so you can hit them with the boomerang still. All right, we got another Goma that we can't kill. TA is going to take out the Dodongo and get a bomb wall for his trouble. With the wand, this is not a terrible thing for him. He still has a weapon. Um, it works against these dark nuts, and uh, there's no whiz robes in here. That's your friend's pie. a blue bubble. Back to Stabby Stabby. Oh, speaking of Stabby Stabby, all of the blue offensive upgrades were in level 2. Because we've got a white sword now, so if you thought TA was going fast before, yeah. There's the Triforce. TA is now done in level 2. Alright, here we go. Um, he is really close to uh, 6. I mean, you don't really want to go into a shape 6, but at some point we need a Triforce. And find the staircase. And this transport. Yeah, with white sword and wand and a red ring. This is, and a potion. I mean, this is no longer such a scary level for TA. I don't know if he was probably ever scared of it at all, but it's uh it's not as big of a thing as it could have been. Uh we might need some more keys, but six is usually really oh, hi Gliok, who is very, very required. Um, but yeah, we, we normally can come out of six with a few extra keys because it's one of those, well, we need a ladder. All right, oh, and, uh, never mind. Level six looks like somebody took a, a, um, a dent into a 2Q4. Okay, okay. Yeah, they broke the D. Um, well, here's, here's the unfortunate part for our runners. We are ladder blocked completely in level six because there is, uh, you know, there's no other way to get further in there so we're going back to looking for levels we're going back to digging things like this eight four he might end up at uh, it looks like we're screen scrolling over to level four which we haven't really seen much of meanwhile Stop. magic friends is trying to push the block here without these spike traps murdering him oh no he's doing a block clip okay all right in level four for ta that's uh -oh. a good number of keys, so unlike Magic Friends. Yeah, Magic Friends is unfortunately down to Z. I think he only had like the one or two when he came in here, and he had to use one of them already, so. Alright, there's the map. It's a bunny rabbit or a dragon from Flamecraft. <laughs> it's a dragon meeple. Totally. Totally a dragon meeple. 
Hey, go my shutter room. What, conveniently, we have a bow here. Yeah, see, this is really good for TA-909. Because, yeah, that, that, I think, is the only path you can go in there? Oh, dude, that white sword just completely obliterating the orange was robe. That's a Triforce, but sorry, game, we'll be back. We need a ladder. Oh, rude game. <laughs> gotta, gotta push the block to get out. Magic Friends is going to do a really nice reverse clip to get through this staircase room, kind of pretending that, you know, it's in logic. Oh, man, TA is just going to, yeah. He, he's going to be murdering all sorts of things in this level. Including these three three blue wizard robes and two bunnies. Did they roll down? Did he not use a bow on it? Not the bunnies, the wizard robes. Oh. Didn't it see. was uh it was four white sword stabs. Imagine if had a bail out of a Dodongo room, I guess he got clipped by a He did get hit by a bubble, yes. Alright, but this is actually good for him. He's gonna end oh. up in level three. What and there's TA, our ladder. They TA just got a ladder in four. All right. Yep. And that uh, kind of broken mo moat room, room. Oh, the one just to the south of, uh, yeah. All right. Meanwhile, here we go. Magic Friends is only a couple of screens away from finding level three. He's going to pick up another heart. He's one heart away from being mags uh, eligible. All right, he's going to do another really amazing clip. Here's the nice thing about lower leveled. Oh, uh, well, all right, we're going the other way. That's not amazing. No, that, that, <laughs> that's definitely not amazing. But the amazing thing about these lower level dungeons is that they tend to, uh, the walls are going to bomb. So one, two, and three, with the exceptions of if you're trying to bomb downwards into an old man room, you're trying to bomb into Zelda's room, or you're trying to bomb in from to the left into a right side staircase room most of those walls are all going that's whiz ropes are all going to open so if you end up trying to bomb in one of those cases then you might want to go invest and it doesn't open you might want to go see what's on the other side of that wall we got a heart t is like no nah, i'm good all right magic friends is going to get his recorder we know that this is very very required we just have to hope that since three is a small level and the enemy set isn't terrible with that uh red ring that magic friends continues to clear out this dungeon because there's a bow in here oh oh look we get to go back oh yeah that was the wait this isn't the triforce room is it why are we re-clearing this room? I'm not sure. The, the Triforce room was... Further further up. It was, uh... In the middle well, of the, it, the it was bar, top row. wasn't it? Yeah. Top row. Uh, the, not the... Not the gum. I think it was this one. Yep. All right. right there we go. TA's like, all right, I got a ladder. I got a heart. I'm going to go get my Triforce. Oh, oh, Magic Friends. Magic Friends did not get the bow. He's out of bombs, which might be why he's leaving level three. Yep, that could be And he uh, doesn't have a sword. It could be a setback. That's a little problematic. He's going to find a little bit more money, but choose not to take it. He's going to up a save to get his money back. With the recorder, he'll be able to uh, record her around a bit. So he... Could go see seven is probably not where we want to go. I think he's getting some bombs from a shop. Oh, from the shop nearby. Yeah, yeah. Arrows would also be a really nice uh, heads up play. Not that he knows that he's about to find the bow. All right, TA is gonna find something. Well, all right, it's it's not a level. We're still There's our last five. There's our last take any case. Ah, good job, Magic Friends. You're going to be really, really happy you picked those up when you go back to level three. <laughs> All right, come on, Bomb Droppers. Let's get him some more weaponry here. Yeah, in that last large secret. Uh, oh, okay. See, uh, that's, that's pretty useful to have, especially since you could buy some more keys with it. 
Or a potion? Or a bomb <laughs> upgrade. Oh, a bomb upgrade would be fantastic. We're gonna check Recorder Lake and find somebody who likes turtles and steals our money. Magic Friend's gonna get the clip off finally and find out that there's nothing under Second Quest 7. All right, go back to three, Magic Friends. You can do it. There there are still things in three that you will be really, really excited to find. And TA is going to go ahead and do a world wrap. I think he's headed over to get the raft and probably go visit seven. Or, well, we're not going to get mags, but we're going to whistle this spot first. Oh no, we're gonna go do ref checks. Okay, I like this. We do also have to head to eight and it's kind of all the way at the top corner of the map. So that makes sense as well. All right, coast ref spot. Potion, potion shop. Hey, bombs for magic friends. This is useful. All right, TA is going to do one of my favorite screen scrolls. He's going to go check the recorder spot at vanilla level two. Oh, I like the clip to get around the uh, the pinwheel. That was great. I don't think that would ever occur to me in 80,000 years. We're going to find level five under a recorder spot. So yeah, magic friends, that recorder is amazing, but you really need to go get the bow out of two, three. There is good stuff in two. Yeah, yeah, there's good <laughs> stuff in two as well, and that'll help. That'll help when you finally, you know, make it back to some of these other dungeons. But that bow is really required. Because to go any further in level four to get over to the Triforce, TA had to kill the go the the Goma on that top row. Oh, hi, Patra friend. How are you doing? At least it's an ellipsis -y Patra. Being forced to fight it from the right-hand side can be a little dicey if it breaks, but TA's like, nah, I'm just gonna kill you before you can. There's a book. He's gonna pick it up. Book. So, now we can understand the old men. Yay! Look at those two hint shops, which, uh, we got, uh, I got marked. Deadwoods yeah, I've, and I've got Coast. Him. Yep, yep. One's kind of near our start screen, and the other one is over near eight. All right, there is the Triforce out of three for Magic Friends. Uh, he also found the map when you went south, because I don't know that he had the map when he was in here before. Uh, I remember TA didn't have it until he got close to the Triforce either. What the, the heck is five? Go back in! The, Go back the, in! Oh, no! Uh, the bow was up in that upper left Yeah, hand. you had to you had to bomb. Yeah, you had to bomb up to the top part, and you wouldn't have known the top part was there until you got the, uh, you got the bow, the map. All right, so five looks like, uh, hmm, how about a singing seahorse? All right, well, we're gonna, okay. TA's gonna pay with a heart. He may actually be planning on getting the hints. Five is a bird sitting on a nest. I like that billick. Magic well, Friends is gonna go clear East Death Mountain. He also already skipped a, a dungeon, uh, a stair heart, so he, he's not. Yeah, he mags. he doesn't. He's he's one of those people who can finish this on very few hearts. Well, that and White Sword's good enough, so not gonna go after Max either. Yeah, yeah. I I can't say that I blame him. I would make the same choice. Plus, the white the magical sword's kind of off in the middle of nowhere, so yeah. Hey, we found one of the old men in five. All right, so here's the question, though. You're TA-909. Do you go ahead? No, he's going to keep searching. There's a Triforce sitting on the floor, but he wants to know what the staircase item is. Oh, go get the key. TA, that's free. <laughs> go get it. Oh, he's getting it. Don't worry. I mean, I know you like to leave stuff behind, and you're amazing at this video game, and I totally support that, but that's a key. 
more turtle love happening up in Death Mountain. TA is gonna go get his Triforce out of five. Let's see if he goes back in to look for the staircase item. The only thing he's really missing is silvers to be able to finish the game, and those can be just about anywhere. I mean, Tracy, it does if you can canana key. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going into six for magic friends. I kind of wish he had gone a little bit further to the south because then he'd be going into six with the white sword and the wand. Uh, to answer a question in chat, we have shapes front half, one through six, and then second quest back half. So we have cinnamon rolls of doom and uh, the nicer of the two nines, and then shapes. Magic Friends is going to nope out on that six pretty quickly. We're going to go into the Eddie Roads, and let's see where we're headed back to. We're going to record her spot. Okay. This is, um, no, oh, no, we're going to go buy bombs. Okay. We like bombs. <laughs> yeah, off no point pointing out in chat how he loves the TAs doing the sword and wand combo on Wizard Robes. It's a force of habit. It's it's really hard to break sometimes. <laughs> All right, Magic Friends is gonna buy a key and a bunch of bombs. It looks like we're probably going back into six. We do need to at some point finish six. He's going to take the any road that gets him a little bit closer without having to dodge all the lionels on the overworld. Uh, to answer a question in chat, no, the wand will never, unless you have boomstick, is never going to do any damage to the wiz roads, even if you hit, hit them physically with the tip of the wand. Yeah, with much more combat capability... Takes care of those line bows and gets the Triforce piece out of water. Yeah, alright. So Magic Friends is going to have a little bit of a harder time taking out this necessary Gliok. But here's the thing. This is going to send him right back out of six because we're ladder blocked. You cannot get past the room that this is going to lead you into because it's a Chevy room. The room to your other side? It doesn't bomb. All right, TA is now in clean up all the things mode, which is why he's back in level six. He needs to get a Triforce out of here. And I don't know that we see him clearing looking for silvers. Thanks, yeah. Um, yeah, we, 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 we found that really quickly, but we appreciate you. But yeah, I don't think we see him go out of his way to clear for silvers. I, I think he finishes up everything he can finish up. If you come across an item room, go ahead and pick up the item. But I don't think we see them make him make a concerned effort about it. Potion letter for magic friends. Wow, game. <laughs> there, there's, there's a Triforce in the Chevy room. So you know how many rooms we saw in level six? Grand Hail. total? Grand total? Four. Yeah. I answer a question in chat. Yes, we have seen level eight. It's all the way in the other corner of the map. TA is headed that direction now. There's an any road that might get him a little bit closer. Uh, recorded one. Get really close. But four screens yeah. over. Oh, where are we going, TA? Meanwhile, Magic France is going to go back into four. This is a good call on his part because this is going to have the ladder in it, and we need the ladder. Nope, we're going to up a save. But yeah, seven and eight are on the other side of the world. So we're recording to six right now. Um, what gets us closer than that? Level one. All right, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna try these any roads. These any roads were not the yeah. That's okay. That's getting him to seven. That works. And it looks like there was another path here in 
four, so that's good for magic friends because there's a room across the top strip where you are goma blocked in a shutter, double shutter room. TA is going to enter seven. We're going to play a song for the uh, mummies and the whiz robes. There we go. That heart that heart is nice. That gives us a little bit of wiggle room here. Well, until the blue wizard does that. Stop being a jerk, buddy. Alright, we're gonna get a key for our troubles, which is really nice. TA, meanwhile, is just gonna find a Triforce pretty immediately in level 7. We're off to 8. No, man. <laughs> yeah. No, this is this is going really, really fast now. Sam, that might have been a Y force, but he's not mad about it. He he needs one more Triforce before he can enter nine and potentially finish this. I believe Magic Friends is in the latter room. Yeah, this looks about right. It's the same type of room for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hints, I like this. Okay. Thanks, game. I mean, it's on It's on the way to eight. Oh, yep. there's the ladder for Magic Friends. He's going to be really happy to see that. White Sword, we already knew about it. And... Yeah, all right. Magic Boomerang. Thanks, game. <laughs> I mean, one of our runners did, in fact, pick it up. I'm surprised. All right, here comes <laughs> second quest, level eight for TA nine. It's very, very bubble bubblegum pink. It's so pink. It's like Pepto Bismol pink. It starts with a room full of orange bubbles, and unfortunately, we can only candle boost once. But we do have a wand, and I don't believe there were uh, wizards in here. Now, both of our runners have seen a decent chunk of this eight, um, so I think. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good, good there clip. are wiz robes here. Oh yeah, there was. Oh no, it was seven. Seven had the dark nets because uh, Magic Friends was in seven. TA was in eight. One of them had uh, dark nets. One of them had wiz robes. Well, that's slightly unfortunate for TA, but he does have seven bombs. This is the orange wiz robe room. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to remember where we saw the heart in the staircase. In the it's floor. it's it's right below that shoot room. Oh, you'd have to use a key to get there. Okay. Uh, yep. There is one of the... Okay. Well, that's not our Triforce. Thanks, game. Because I think at this point, TA is just going to focus on... Um, he, he's going to focus on give me a Triforce and then let me the heck to nine. Like, let me out of this eight. Now, if we stumble upon Silver Seer, this is fantastic for TA. We oh, oh, game. We would <laughs> love that. Oh, poor Magic Friends is going to take a death in the uh, diagonal block room. Both of our runners have spent all that big secret money because a lot of it got overflowed. Yeah, unfortunately. There's, a, there's our bait block. Woohoo! Hi, bait block. Bye, bait block. Sadly, you are not required. And answer a question to chat. No, we haven't seen any of the items in eight. Most of the the rooms in here, we couldn't get we couldn't get past them. We either didn't have keys, we didn't have bombs, we didn't have a ladder, we didn't have a bow. This There's the, the map room. of four. I think this is a room that uh, Magic Friends dipped out of because didn't have a a sword at the time. There's our map don't need it because it's the Magic spiral. Magic Friends is about to get stuck in the shutter door with the, the, the oh. Goma. Yeah. Yep. Because he doesn't have the bow, which is unfortunately for him on the floor in level 3 because he didn't have bombs when uh, he picked up the Triforce. So yeah, thankfully there does seem to be a way around that, which is really good for Magic Friends, because I think the Triforce is, uh... uh yeah, it's the top of this row. Or column, rather.
When the turnstile room is on that vertical part of the spiral, how do you get past the logic? There'll be a transport staircase that takes you to the other side. Because Fred, Fred has programmed the randomizer to the point where it will never be required to do an out of logic uh, trick in order to um, in order to beat the game. So if you see a turnstile room, there's gonna be a transport somewhere. And with the, the newer flag that's available, but not in this flag set, you can't do those anymore. Well, yeah, we, we, we were having fun breaking the game with that flag a little bit, so... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I walked through a right side door and the game threw me into a block. Well, that's fun. Oh, yeah. I was like, um, <laughs> guys, I'm stuck. Help, Fred. <laughs> hey, there's the Triforce for Magic Friends. Now... He's still looking for the staircase item. Unfortunately for him, it's all the way back down in the bottom of four. It's only going to be a heart, but I can understand him wanting to finish clearing this. This bow is so necessary in this level eight. Look at this. All right, we just, we just need the crab spider. Yeah, there are so many gomas in here. This is like red lobster uh, crab week. Really good double clip from TA. He's gonna find a power bracelet and be like, thanks game, I started with that. Gotta be someplace. Oh, true, <laughs> very true. So that is that is the funny part about the items that you start with um, in the randomizer. They're still gonna get placed in a dungeon somewhere. So it is still gonna be in the seed and you're just hoping it's not in like deep in eight and you're looking for two items and you waste all this time trying to find something you already had. Floor Hard heart. on the floor. Yeah. I mean, it could, uh, the power press, it could have been in nine because we're not required for any of our dungeons tonight. Mm-hmm. Very true. Hey, Magic Friends is about to find all of the offense in the game, except for the bow. I'm telling you, I still don't understand why that's considered the grave because it's a desert. They send the grave pretty far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like two screens away from the grave. There's a heart and a staircase, so we now know all of the items in eight. All right, game. Let us have a Triforce and let us leave this, this level eight, please. Yeah, Opno, this is uh, this is slightly unfortunate that he's going to have to do this much of eight. But this is one of those, it's a second quest eight thing. Like, you either get away with only having to do a tiny fraction of it, or you gotta do everything. Alright, so Magic Friends picked up the wand off of the floor. He's gonna get a key there. Now, thankfully, he's in a dungeon where the wand is actually, you know, usable. Um, the items in level one were boomerang, boomerang, and a heart. What the heck game? We were it's in that waiting. room. So what is in that room? It's, it's, Tia was in that room, I think, his entire, unless he, unless he maybe stopped just a little bit short of it. I could have sworn that entire section of his map was filled in. All right, Magic Friends is continuing on here in level two. He's going to come across the white sword. More keys. Keys are really useful. Either that or it was the first trip in and we didn't have the ability to kill them because they were both in here kind of early trying to do whatever they could and there just wasn't much. Oh, okay. This skip those. Wait, this can have a floor drop in eight? Yeah, I don't think... I didn't think this could have a floor drop in 8, but, uh, sure! We got a Triforce! Yay! In fact, we have all the Triforce pieces on oh, the 8th Oh, thank you, Bogey! I forgot it's a second quest dungeon. It's the... yeah, okay. So, when we talk about second quest, and how we all just love, love second quest, 
it changes some of the drop rooms. It changes some of the, like, remove most staircases, most open staircases is also going to get a little bit wonky because there are staircases in um, some of the second quest levels that will just naturally have a floor drop or a floor item sitting there when you walk in the room, and it's still going to be a push block. Magic Friends is going to get his Triforce and offensive upgrades at a level 2. Let's hope he goes back to 3 because you're going to need the bow. He's going to 6, though. TA's dipped back into 5. I can understand a, this. Actually picked up a key already and um, looking he, for that. He's looking that, for silvers. Looking for that staircase. Yeah, I, I like this. He did most of 5 when he was in here before, so this, like totally makes sense that you're going to take the smallest of the dungeons you've got left with an item in it and go ahead and check before you go into second quest nine. So not six. <laughs> yeah, not six. Probably not yeah. six. I mean, six does have two items in it, but you know, but there's we, mm. four rooms. <laughs> four rooms. I, well, you know, that's totally where silver's going to be, right? They're, they're going to be on the floor. Magic Friends is about to get the Triforce in six in his fourth room. He's going to be like looking at it. Oh, this is a hard choice. He's going to turn around and pick it up. And yeah, Sam, if you need the items in six, this is the game saying, all right, fine. You're going to pick this up and you're going to have to do all of these rooms all over again. Magic Friends is going to do the same thing TA did and he's going to leave six having grabbed the Triforce. Because again, he still has an item in three. He's still got the items in eight. There's three items in eight, even though it's second quest eight and, and it's a big dig. Um, he's got to finish checking Death Mountain because he is still looking for, I want to say level five. Which we know is recorder blocked underneath uh, second quest level two. Or first quest level two, sorry. QQ3. Yeah, I know. This is uh, another of the reasons why I, I have problems with Second Quest. Alright, TA is continuing to look here for the staircase in 5. Though, to be fair, that, uh, that shape 6 was not as big as it could have been. I mean, Shape 6 is kind of notorious for being one of the largest Shapes dungeons that you can have in that first set. So, you know, it's um, it's kind of understandable. Oh, is he going back into 6? He's headed in that direction. Nope. Now we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take so many roads, because 9 is literally one screen to the left from, from their start screen. TA is going. Oh, money. He's going to go get... Oh. Does he want the bomb upgrade? Or does he want the rest of the uh, hints? Because the rest of the hints are over here underneath... Um, they're over underneath the burn bush where you would normally screen scroll to skip the Lost Woods. Yeah, obviously, TA did a remarkable job of marking all these ruby spots that he did not pick up because he had overflowed. Very, yes. very early. Yeah, yeah. Both of our poor runners found all of the money in the seed really quickly. Yeah, now he's headed in the direction of the hint shop. I like this. If there is a hint for silvers or even just hints for the items in level six, this is going to save you some time in deciding where you're going to go dig. Maybe There's a... I wouldn't even uh, turn down a magical key hint. Yeah, magical key hint would be nice, especially, well, I mean, it's second quest. Play Melody to obtain the book, we already did. We we know that, thanks. We, we got the other boomerang hint. Yeah, we got both boomerang hints. Scree grumbles with the magic oh, key. There hmm. we go. Six. Stair, stair item in seven. Oh, seven, sorry. I always get those two backwards. Alright, well, unfortunately, this is sending us into what is actually a small shape six. So, did we not see the. Did, did, did TA find the, the stereo no, item in TA, five? TA saw both. He, TA saw all of the items in, in level one. He was the one we no, saw no. it on his screen. And he saw the book, and I don't remember what the second item in five was. 
Because he, he was back in five looking for. He was just trying to find the staircase, and I don't ever remember seeing it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go further into the six. Yeah, I don't I don't know what room was actually the staircase room because it's kind of hard if you go. Oh, oh, kill that guy. There you go. Oh, game. Game. We only have thirteen rupees. Be kind. All right, yep. transport or item. Transport. Yeah, we found all of our, uh, we spent all our rupees on hints. <laughs> I mean, hints and, and keys. The key purchases are always a good idea. Uh, arrows for TA and for Magic Friends, which was also a very good plan. Potions. Well, to kind of answer a question in chat, is there any reason not to do this six? So right now, given the information that we have, there's one item in five, two items in six, and two items in nine. Um, the Triforce in level 6 was four rooms in, so at this point, it's, it's, you could just go straight into nine, because you have the book. So there is a chance that you'll, oh, well, all right. Now it's, it's, it's looking a little more questionable as we find a staircase heart in six. You need to go to nine anyway, so there's some argument to be made. This is either the other end of the transport or the item. Pick up the key, thank you. There might still be another staircase item in eight. Uh, no, heart, heart, uh, power it was, bracelet. It was, it, it was double. Okay. A double heart and a power bracelet. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, it's it's clear the dungeon you need to explore to see Ganon and Zelda with the hope that the hint about the silver arrows doesn't get taken over by some other old man, and it's accessible without having to fight Ganon or go into a level that you already have the trace force from. It's kind of a, a toss up at this point. I mean, TA is fast enough. These keys are going to be really helpful when he does get into to, uh, level 9. Meanwhile, Magic Friends is kind of headed in the right direction to uh, eventually find 5. He's checking all the recorder spots and open checks that he's left. And I mean, it's only an hour and six minutes in. He's got wand, he's got white sword. He's making really good progress in what is a small shape six. We got a compass and a ruby boss. Thanks, game. Oh, shoot. You gotta, and... gotta lose that sword unless you candle boost it. <laughs> yeah, but thankfully we got... Oh, I like when they die to a single wand hit with fire. This is good. Oh, game, you couldn't put the blue bubble there <laughs> so that no. we could get our sword back as we walk through. No, magic friends, you need to go in there. That'd be oh, an interesting uh, contender. Friends. Could the one blue bubble in a dungeon be blocked by a shoot room? Oh, that would be horrible. That would be so evil. Magic Friends is about to find level 5, which is the last level he needs. But the problem is, is that the bow is in level 3. He's already got the Triforce out of level 3. He already got the Recorder out of level 3. He still needs to go back into level 8 to get the Triforce. And as we saw on TA's side, that place is so full of gomas, it's crazy. It's, it's you know, it's like Arctic Sea Alaska fishing. Well, we got a staircase heart in five. We found the last item. Da 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 da. All right, TA is going to continue clearing all the stuff and things, looking for these items in level six. There was a there was a heart that he noped out on in a dungeon. It may have been that one because he he didn't need it. He'd already gotten the white sword, red ring. He already had the white sword, so he wasn't going to go after mags. So there's a possibility that that's what happened. We got a red candle on the floor. We're going to nine. Guess where uh, our silvers are? Yep, we have our uh, silver arrows and a last heart container. All right, let's get our audio switched over here. So, Kairos, 
What are we looking for here in this level 9? Oh, we're looking for some silver arrows. So we're going to have to find a, a staircase someplace. We're going to find... Or we're going to look for uh, Ganon, which we can't beat yet until we find the said silvers. But possibly we could walk, we could uh, bomb through his room, but he'll be very noisy when we're nearby. And, and you know uh, what's even better? Second Quest 9 has walked through walls. Yay! Don't we just love it when Second Quest has walked through walls in level 9? Yes. But yeah, sorry I interrupted you in the middle of the Ganon spiel. <laughs> you know what also is a lot of fun? When you have to enter Ganon's room and you have to bomb out of Ganon's room to be able to find your silver arrows. Now guys, I will note that TA is not playing with uh, game music so we can hear the roar of Ganon or maybe he is and it's just really quiet. Yeah, I think he's just got game sounds. So we have, like, the stabbing of the swords. We'll have the roar of Ganon and, and, like, flames and stuff. But at the moment, we're not going to have any music. I feel like we need Saber singing Banana Jam. There's a compass that tells us exactly where Zelda is. Do, do, do. But all right, here we go. TA continuing through nine. Uh, to answer a question in chat, is it only second quest dungeons that have walkthrough walls? There is a flag that will put them into shapes. It's not something we play with all that often. Uh, Magic Friends is going to grab his Triforce out of level five, and he's leaving. There they go. Oh, man, game. One, uh, t yeah, third room. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, game. We appreciate you. All right, now we're just looking for Ganon. Uh, we have the compass that'll point us in the direction of the princess. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see where the bacon is. Oh, we got a shoot room. It's going the wrong way. That's another reason I don't like walkthrough walls. So many turnstiles. Yeah. Well, I, it's mainly because you walk up thinking it's going to bomb, and then you drop the bomb, which wastes the bomb, and you can just walk through the wall. The, bo the beast is in the southeast of Skull. All right. Thanks, game. we got to go the other way. Useful old man. At least we hope so, because there's been some recent discussion as to... Um, why some of the old men have been a little bit confused recently in the bug channel. Mm. Yeah, apparently there's a value that with this flag set, if it rolls the... Oh, hello, Ganon. Ganon, hint confirmed. <laughs> yes, Ganon, hint confirmed true, which is really nice. All right, TA's got the white sword. He, he shouldn't really have too much of a problem here. He does, in fact, um, Magic Friends, you need to go back to eight. I'm sorry. I think Magic Friends didn't realize that he still needed to get the Triforce out of eight. And in order to get to the Triforce in eight, he's going to need the bow out of level three. Meanwhile, TA takes down Ganon and he's off to find the princess. I did not notice if the, uh, he's, I think he's been next to Zelda's room. I'm not sure if, uh, there's a door or not there. Yeah, I don't remember. He was lying. Oh yeah, he's, he's going to be really close to it. All right, Magic Friends, meanwhile, is headed back in the direction of eight, which, oh yeah, okay, it was this room. Yep. All right, guys, let's get some GGs in chat for TA909, finishing with an official race time GG time of one hour, 13 minutes, and 18 seconds. GG. And we do have the uh, immediate forfeit from Magic Friends. Uh, we're going to see if both of them are going to be joining us here in chat, but uh, let's go ahead and get some GGs in chat for Magic Friends as well. This was a good race from both of our runners. It just came down to the unfortunate fact that the bow was in three and Magic Friends ran out of bombs before he could find it.
All right, TA at, very, at the very least is going to be joining us here. We'll see if Magic Friends is going to come along as well. And uh, we, okay, I've got to get the guys some invites. So if you want to maybe touch on all of the amazing races that are happening today, I'm going to do some stuff behind the scenes. All right, let's get that schedule up here. So there are many, many races. As we said, we have 42 races this week. Uh, what do we have today as we have TA909 joining us? GG. Hey, thank you. So definitely, uh, definitely some roadblocks in the seed to overcome. Yeah, um, yeah, I did a lot. Uh, and I think, um, level eight, I full cleared. Um, the Triforce dropped in a room that I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when when you walked back, when you walked back in there, I was like, "Wait, this can have a drop." Yeah, because I'm so well, used to first quest logic, where you know it can only have a drop in in one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, I guess in second quest, you just have to assume everything drops. Um, but yeah, I was getting a little nervous at the end because I only had two rooms left, and I hadn't found a compass or a triforce. Um, I had some other issues that seed. Um, I actually mismarked level 9, and that would have been big trouble had there not been a hint about level 9 in level 6. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we mentioned uh, oh. Thanks Old Man, uh, and uh, okay, that's good for you. <laughs> yeah, that probably saved my seed right there. Um, level 9 was the second cave I found, so it was so long ago when I found it. And GG's magic friends. Yeah, I, I I did as best as I could. You actually so the the only unfortunate part was that you I think ran out of bombs by the time you got the map in three, because the bow is sitting on the floor above that section in three, and the only way to know that it's there, you know, was to find the map. The same thing kind of, I think, happened with TA, was he went down to the bottom, got the map, got the Triforce, and then he went back in to go figure out what the item was. Because until that point, there's nothing really saying, hey, go bomb right there. Yeah, I marked it on my map that I needed to go north. I may not have had bombs at the time, but in the same mode, I was like, three was the one that had the recorder, and I'm like, okay, I, I have half the items here. I felt behind because I made that terrible play in six, where I go into six, I see that it's key blocked, I have no keys, I have enough money for exactly two, two packs of bombs and a key. So I go buy two packs of bombs, buy a key, go back to six, and the next room's ladder blocked. I'm like, well, just throw five minutes right out the window, why don't you? Like, I, I mean, it was really good information, and it's basically, other than buying it, we both ended up buying keys during the seed, which I greatly appreciated, because... You found, unfortunately, with the order of exploration, you guys found all the large secrets pretty much right away. Um, and then the rest of the money was kind of meh. So I really thought it was a very good heads up play to be buying keys, to be buying bombs, to buy the arrows, because, you know, at that point, you're going to find nothing but door repairs. But the same thing basically happened to TA. He also went into nine. You go in, you go in, you beat the Gleok, and then you get to walk into a Chevy room and go, oh, I've got to go find a ladder, you know? And up until that point, like, we, we weren't really seeing that many blocks, I guess. And yeah. then what you missed in 8 was the fact that there were so many Gomas in there. There was, like, so many Goma-blocked rooms, Goma-blocked staircases. Like, we, we just, we were going, really? This is, like, nothing but Gomas in 8, so... I mean, my problem was the only way to start 8 is to take a red bubble hit. Because it's the... It's the, like, shoot room staircase with eight bubbles in it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just taking a red bubble hit, and I have, like, I track in Z-Hopper, which gives you, like, a question mark to say, hey, I can't clear this room. It's just all question marks, because I couldn't deal damage while going through the dungeon. Yeah, you both had spent, you both spent a lot of time in eight before being able to find an alternative source of damage, um, which, you know, it, it just wasn't, it was not kind. Uh, again, it was... Like you said, it's the only way in, and up until you get the wand out of level two, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. Or, and, uh, you know, the bow. 
the way the money t turned out the seed was kind of unfortunate too with, like here have all the large secrets and then we're gonna have poverty i was desperate to find any shop to buy items early game because i had max money maybe three or four minutes in and i kept finding um i kept finding secrets <laughs> I was yeah. max money. well yeah but that worked out in the end because you tracked where they were and that lets you go back and get the uh, the second hint cave, though. I mean, you gotta love that we got hint hints about both boomerangs being in one, one in each shop. Oh, yeah, the hints were just marvelous. Uh, I was like, this I, is I, not I, that I helpful. Get, I did get one useful hint about the uh, magical key in seven, and so... Uh, yeah, that I did was, save you. Yeah, I was thinking about digging seven over nine. Um, I probably definitely would have if uh, it was a 1Q9. Yeah, um, but of course, silver arrows were, you know, one room in, two rooms in for level nine, and I spent six minutes in level six digging out the items. So, I, I mean, we were we were kind of discussing whether or not the size of six, because to me that looked kind of like a very small for a shape six. Like if that kind of played anything into it, um, because at that point you had the one, you had the white sword, and it didn't really look like it was that big of a dungeon, as opposed to just playing the gamble and going straight into nine. Yeah, that's the reason I went to six. Um, it was pretty moderately sized. Um, I don't remember how many rooms exactly. Somewhere in the twenty-seven to thirty range. But um, that was my that was uh, my reasoning for going back to six. Um, it was a little difficult to navigate the dungeon, though. Uh, there were a lot of key doors. Um, there was like a shoot room and, and very specific paths to get um, anywhere in that dungeon. So it ended up taking longer than I thought it was going to take, and I was getting a little nervous because I think I did every room except two rooms, possibly, after I picked up the red candle off the floor. <laughs> yeah, the game, that was not nice of the game. It's like, here, have this thing that you, you have no use for. I was just... I was really happy with how the seed was like, here's, we find six real early, and you start, like, in a perfect, like, yep, this is definitely Q16, you're at the very bottom, in the little corner of six, and the north one doesn't bomb, and the left one will go forward. And I'm like, okay, sure. And then I go to seven, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is like a, uh, when I, I find eight, and I'm like, I'm not going into there. I saw, like, the red <laughs> bubbles, I'm like, no, 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 we're not here. And what did I find? Oh, and I found four, and four also looked like second. Then four looked like second quest four, and I'm like, wait, what is going on here? And yeah, then I found <laughs> one through six as well. Um, and I, once I entered four and realized it was shapes, and I'm like, okay, that six is definitely shapes then. But I, I got tricked as well by that. Well, yeah, I said the same thing. I was like, oh, this could be vanilla six, and I'm just looking at it. And then um, you guys went into four, and then I was looking at the map. And I was kind of looking at it, and then Optimum Point looked at his map, and he's much better at this than I than I am. And uh, he's like, "No, that that's shapes because you guys entered in a spot where they're in four, where there shouldn't have been a room in first quest." Yeah, exactly. Or at least I don't think so. But but yeah, it was uh, it was I was I was really happy to not be playing the seed, and I'm very sorry that you got you know the spirals. Yeah, uh, uh, it would have been really interesting if there wasn't a red ring on Campbell Row. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Campbell. that's the other thing. We have infinite money, and you find that you're like, I've got infinite money. I could buy a red ring. Okay, at least I, I didn't buy a blue ring, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. At least the game was kind enough to be like, hey, I'm going to show you this before I show you a blue ring shop. Because that way you could buy, like, again, you both bought, um, I think TA bought two keys, and I know that Magic Friends, you at least bought one, and then maybe went back for a second one later. You bought your candles, you bought your arrows, like, you know, it was it was really nice to the point where you could buy the stuff, but at the same time, it was like, uh, couldn't you have spread those secrets out a bit more? Yeah, yeah it's just one of those, like... Recorder into ladder into raft into back to the dungeon you found the recorder like. <sighs> hey, I mean, some people like these kind of things. All right, I'll go ahead and ask if you guys uh, they they like the multiple contingencies like the the chase seeds and and chat loves watching those things. So I mean. It, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely a thing. But I'll go ahead and ask if you guys have any final thoughts about week one, the seed, the race, or life in general. 
Yeah, um, not much. Um, thank you for all the behind the scenes work and making this restream happen. I appreciate it. Uh, commentators, tracker, and uh, admins of the Zelda tournament, thank you very much. And GG, Magic friends. Yeah, GG. Um, I I had one thing. Somebody asked in chat in one of the races last night. They were asking how you get better at screen scrolling. And if the VOD records it, like the whole time we were setting up, I do, I just sit there and practice screen scrolling by like keeping, I, I just start a basic game and I grab a sword and I go all the way to the coast and all the way back and all the way to the coast and all the way back. So for people who are asking that in chat the other night, that's how I practice it. And that's a really good way to just like get used to like where should your guy be on the map for it. So yeah. I know Bye. chat asked it last night and I, I didn't get the chance to respond then. So hopefully that person's still in there. Or watches the VOD. I actually, um, what what made it a lot easier for me was I picked up uh, Yunos a long, long time ago. Had linked a video of Buffett, and it's an IPS patch for the the vanilla Zelda ROM where it overlays at the top of the screen and it shows you exactly where the pixel is. Like it it marks it right down to like the, it says, "Hey, you're right here," and it gives you a little plus or minus so you can kind of like learn how to get the muscle memory for walking up to that one and i still screw it up and then another thing i always found really useful is to get the right controller because you'd be amazed people would be amazed at exactly how much it makes a difference sorry we were talking about you know stuff i actually kind of know <laughs> it's, it's fine all, all right. right i think it's time to talk about some more races we got tonight so we have uh, in progress right now SG5. We've got Cantaloupe Me versus Sausage Link. And also on the Z1 Randomizer channel, we have Malkior versus Panzer Dave. We <laughs> also have uh, at uh, ver you know, about half hour, we'll have on this channel uh, Slidic versus Tabby Orange. We, uh, so we got a late edition of Chrono JJ versus Mako71, and also SG5. At 9:30 Eastern, uh, and then 10 o'clock we have on Z1 Randomizer 2, Blessed Be versus Moon Risen Phoenix. Uh, on Z1 Randomizer Prime, the first one with Vincent 246 versus Drews, and on SG3 we have Sea Falcon versus Sightown. Oh man, is that ever going to be a thing? So, you can have your fill of Zelda One Randomizer Tournament to your heart's content, and th there will be more races as we continue week one of the swiss pairings yep which uh, allows us to segue into hey guys if you ever wanted to do tracking or commentary or ramble on about lovely and wonderful things while watching a game of zelda we could use some help um if you have time or the ability or even if you just you know you want to pitch in from time to time pop on into the z1r discord and ask one of the admins to go ahead and give you the volunteer flag because we have 42 races a week for five weeks that's a lot of zelda oh yeah but all right i'll go ahead and thank op no point for doing our tracking uh always good to have somebody keeping us up to date behind the scenes especially when it involves reading maps uh we definitely want to thank our runners for a really well one well run race i can totally words and we want to thank speed gaming and the admins for everything they do behind the scenes to get these races going. And Kairos, thank you very much for hanging out with me. This was a lot of fun. Yes, indeed. So huh. with that, uh, you know, we get uh, so we got another race coming up on this channel in a little while. But uh, SG5 has another match going on right now. Yep. Have a great night. <laughs>